tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon visits Southern California's Orange County to help an embattled Italian restaurant called Luigi's. Oh, why the f that answer back? With two brothers who can't stand to be around each other. Get the f out of here! And a wife no one can stand to be around. No! I don't say that! The fighting at Luigi's is constant. Okay, sex, go! And even the customers aren't spared. It's the most dysfunctional family restaurant You're lying. Chef Ramsay has ever encountered. Say that to Can he save this family from ruining the restaurant? I feel so bad. Or is the situation impossible to fix? We are losing the business. Because of him! Because of him! You won't believe what happens on the most intense kitchen nightmares ever. <laughs> Who is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. I'm done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. Anaheim, California. The most populated city in Southern California's famed Orange County. And home to a family run restaurant named Luigi's D'Italia. It was opened in 1981 by a promising young chef with a dream, Luigi Catazzone. My dream was to always own a restaurant, and my dream did come true. When my father took a loan on his house, and we uh, opened this small restaurant. And with the aid of his father, Dominic, Luigi was able to make the restaurant successful for many years. Luigi's is definitely an Anaheim staple. It was our favorite place to go. Whenever I used to come here as a kid, it was just a really, really great atmosphere. In 1999, Dominic retired to Italy and brought in his other son, Tony, to help Luigi run the restaurant. Tony and Luigi have totally different ways of running the restaurant. There's like two different sets of standards. Tony, we got a half a calamari fried mozzarella ready. Tony is a little bit lazy, taking shortcuts. Tony! Whenever Luigi's here, Luigi wants to be more hands-on. There's more yelling and screaming. You're interfering with my cooking! Get the f out of here! I don't agree with the way he runs it and the way he does it. We start pointing fingers at each other, and we fight. There's a thing called professionalism, man, and that's not professional. You can't lose it like that. We work hard. Tony's eating his ass all the time. It doesn't I get pissed off a lot of times because Tony got to take a more serious of the job. You kill him! I got to pissed to yell and say, you know what? It's not, it's not fair. You brother to tell you! Without you brother, you be this way! You be homeless! F you! You do this to me! I feel like I'm being pushed to the limit. Luigi's yelling, Grace is yelling. I'm trying to keep my sanity here. There's too much yelling going on. I, I, I got a headache. There is a lot of drama that goes on here. That's a Everything will go. Everything will go. The arguments and the stress of the restaurant, it does spill over to the dining room a lot. Answer this question! Answer! Diners don't want to go to, to this restaurant or any restaurant to get yelled at. Okay, it sucks! Go! Oh, you! I'm gonna go back to here. Oh, I've been here right, for years. Right. What are you come in for? A plane or what? Luigi, Tony, Grace, they just can't seem to work together. I feel like can't go yelling at people like that. It's wrong. Oh, yeah. baloney. The they complain about everything on the dish. They're neighbors. They come over here. You guys are treating them like crap. They don't know nothing about food. It's tearing the family apart. The way the restaurant is going, it's going to go broken a month. We're in debt total of a million and a half dollars. I don't know if we're going to make it. We're going to see what we got to do. It's too much stress. If I had to close the doors, I would feel like I failed my father and everything that we worked for together. I would lose everything that I've worked for all my life. I don't know if tomorrow I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to pay my bills. The world's gone viral today, and a restaurant's reputation can live or die in seconds on the internet. So I'm here in Anaheim visiting Luigi's restaurant, and I'm going to check out their website. Uh, wow, uh, this one looks good. Um, a young, very talented, 22-year-old chef. Oh, look at that. Clearly a youthful maestro. Well, that's encouraging. I can't wait to see what's on the inside. Um, great start. 22. Wow. 
Hi. Morning. Hey, how are you? Hi, welcome to Luigi's. Good Joe. to see you. Joe, good to see you, buddy. Gordon. Hi, nice meeting you. And your position is? I'm a waiter. Excellent. And you've got a bit of a uh, hot chef in there. Yes, definitely. Uh, could you go and get in, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Wow, look at this place. Luigi's d'Italia. Hmm. Oh, hello, Chef Ramsey. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Gordon, good to see you. Um, hold on a minute. You're not 22. I'm 51. You're 51? I'm reading the latest report on your website, a youthful maestro, 22 years of age in the kitchen. Do you have a son in there? No, it must be a mistake. Yeah, this was written in 1981. 1981? Oh, I have recent reviews too. What, like 1984? No, 1991. Uh, 1991? Anyway, yeah. if the food was that good back in 1981, how is it today? I think it's better now. That's great news. Yeah. I have a following for 30 years, and what I do, I am the best there is. But there's some things that can be changed. Youthful 22-year-old. I like the website. Uh, who else is running the restaurant? My brother, uh, D'Antonio. Wow, Tony. that's encouraging. Very encouraging, in terms of a proper family-run restaurant. I have my wife, Tony, wow. and uh, okay, great. My, my children. Let's have a little catch-up with the family, shall we? OK. Yeah, are they all here? Yeah, they're all here. Love they're to meet them. Bring them, them out. Someplace. This is my lovely wife, Grace. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, wife. Good to see you too. Where are you from? Italy. This is your wife? This yes. Is... Wow, you did well. And this is? Hi. Dominica, the daughter. daughter. Okay, wonderful. And this is? My I'm Linda. My law my brother's wife. That's my husband, Antonio. Antonio. How are you? No, very good, Dan. Uh, pleasure Tony, to meet you. Tony, what would you like to be called? No, I go by Tony. Tony, okay, great. Uh, let's sit down and let's have a catch up, shall we? I'm glad that Chef Ramsey is here to help us because uh, this is a family restaurant and we shouldn't be a split family restaurant. First of all, I'm here to help. And I can't help unless I know what's with wrong. What's wrong with the restaurant? We had a, a phenomenal leader. And the leader was my father. He was in the front. Him and I were always on the same page. And where's your father now? Where is He's he? In Italy, retired. So no one's actually ever stepped into your father's shoes. Well, I have, but I think what has happened is no one has any uh, idea what is needed in this restaurant. We're in a position to lose everything. So who runs it now? I'm the, I'm the guy in charge right now. Well, no, on, on the way we run it is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, I run the place. And then on uh, Thursday nights through Sunday nights, uh, they run the place. Wow, it's crazy. How does a family restaurant not run as a family? They don't get along. Because you don't belong in this restaurant. It's a journal. Yeah. When you have laziness, it's an infection. What happens is when Tony is here and Linda is here, they have no understanding that number one is the customer. No sitting around. No looking at the TV. Watching TV when customers come? Is that true? I don't, I don't think it's true. Tony, he don't care about the customer. He was sitting and played the computer. I care about this restaurant. No, I, I don't think so. He had have... the computer here. Talk with the computer. Come on. Complaints are that people feel neglected. Yeah, but there's also complaints like, I don't want to come there when she's there. Customers don't want to come when you're working. What's all that about? I don't know. It's I mean, a... I'm just asking her. Listen, I'm... I... She's got people that she kisses ass to and they love her. She's got other people that she gets bl blunt in her face and hate her. Is it right to just basically go up to a customer and just say, I... you, get the f out of here. No! I don't say that! I don't say you! Don't tell me this that's what you said. No, I just said This is what happened. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did right. Wrong. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I mean, I, I wasn't here. Did she say you? Did she not say you? I thought she did. I didn't hear you, no. Oh, yeah, she did. What, what, what did you hear? I didn't say that. She said that to you. You no, forget. No, she got what into it. What did you let her forget for? You gotta be honest. I'm being you honest. You gotta help you or not? I'm trying to get him to help. Well, then say the way it is. I am. No, you're not. You're lying. I'm not lying. You guys yeah, are lying. I think she's you. You think oh, she did. Okay, I, she did I, say I, you. That's all. We are losing the business. You understand? Because of his. No, you see, this is why we don't get along. Within minutes of meeting the family, Chef Ramsay got a quick sample of one of the restaurant's biggest problems. We are losing the business. You because of him! Because of him! No, see, this is why we don't get along. Follow me. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Now he's hoping that the food at Luigi's is as good as Luigi says it is. Uh, wow. I'm gonna have a good look at the menu. The menu's huge, right? The menu is huge. The last I counted, there was 126 things on there. <sighs> okay, great. Right, let's start off with, oh, fried ravioli. Love them. Okay. Do you know what? What about the linguine pescatore? Okay. What is the catch of the day? That's uh, mahi-mahi. Let's do that. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. Decor's hideous. It's stuck in a time warp. Takes me back to 1981. Okay, I have a fried ravioli for Chef Ramsay. Fried ravioli for the chef. My food is the best food that's possibly made. But the problem with the restaurant is that we're fighting so much. Fried ravioli. Okay. Fried ravioli. What's inside the ravioli, please? Uh, it's a five cheese stuffed ravioli. And the five cheeses are? Uh, I'm not sure. Well. It's a pre-made ravioli. So they're not homemade? They're, those are not homemade. If we don't even make them here, it'd be nice to know what's inside them. I'll find out right now for you. Thank you. How's it going? I need to find out what cheeses are in the ravioli. What cheeses are in the ravioli? Yeah. yeah. What kind of cheese is in the bread ravioli? Read the box. It's a ricotta cheese, Joe. So. It's a ricotta cheese. Oh my god. Ah, horrible. Something deep, fried, frozen. It doesn't even taste like cheese. No. You got a whole uh, whey and you got American grana. And uh, a skim cheese. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You got it? Thank you, yes. Yeah, not good. Chef Ramsey. I checked on the cheeses for you. Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh, also uh, American Garana. Something called a uh, cheese whey and culture blend. Where the f is that from in Italy? I don't. I have no idea where that's from. Ooh. And a uh, skimmed cheese. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. What does that mean? It's fat-free cheese dipped in fat. Dipped in fat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. Oh, got some pans. Yeah, looks good. Hey, uh, Joe. My, my. Here, I'll yeah. bring it out, tell him. Oh, damn. Chef, this is the fish special. It's the mahi mahi. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm, it's mush. Yeah. Bland, greasy, no seasoning. Fish is dreadful. Um, this is a special fish. Yes, that is a special fish. Mm, it'll taste fine. It tastes like mush. Almost like it's sort of old. The food just isn't the way it used to be. With all the fighting going on, the standards and the quality, everything, it tanked. And that's special. Holy crap. OK. Uh, he said that this one right here, where the fish was just dreadful. It's all right, I'm still hungry anyway. I don't need to eat that. I absolutely think he's wrong about the mahi mahi. And I thought it was perfectly fine. It was just the way it's supposed to be. That's from the mouth of my chef that knows know, taste probably know. more, OK? That guy's up here, and I'm down here. What do I know if he cooks it good or not? I don't know. It's his opinion. I don't what want do you, want you don't to feel know? bad, because you... I don't feel bad. Right. I know. I'm right, waiting fine. for his opinion. What the hell? Chef Ramsey is here to help us. And my brother takes this attitude that it's all complaints. It's not. You gotta listen to those complaints and keep your mouth shut. So everything is atrocious, Chef. Are you tasting the food? Yeah, I you are, yeah? The fish was cooked uh, properly, it was fresh. Yeah, so it's mush. It's excellent to me. Okay, let me finish this. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need a guy to tell me that my food sucks. If you don't like the food, then get the out of here. The linguine pescatore. Yeah, what the hell is that? What have they done to the calamari? What have they done to these bits? More tentacles here than there are in SeaWorld. That tastes as bad as it looks. Muscles of the clams were grainy, and calamari had a weird texture to it. Chef, how are you doing with the pescatori? I'm struggling. Struggling? I'm struggling, yeah. I mean, I certainly don't get that taste of Italy, let me tell you that. And the sauce no. is so weak, and it tastes disgusting. Um, are we done? Yes. You can't make everyone happy in life. 
That's why we need a help. Dude, I don't kiss anybody's ass. Take me into the kitchen. I haven't had anyone come into my restaurant and say, Luigi, you don't know what the hell you're doing. Not even Chef Ramsay gets to do that. I'm frustrated. I wish I could say that was an enjoyable lunch. The deep fried ravioli with skinny cheese. Why did you put that on the menu? To give it to the Americans. Come on. Come oh, on, I'm, I'm not laughing now. The fish special, that was overcooked and it was bland. That was a, that was a perfect day. You're not telling me that. Come on. It was like cat food. Linguini, pescatore. That one there is the best dish on the menu. It was my signature dish when I opened the restaurant. I'll stick by my food. I've been sticking for, for 30 years. I have no problem. Yeah, that's the problem there. You've been doing the exact same food for 30 years. I haven't had a challenge in 30 years. No one's ever challenged me. You're the first one. Listen, you've lost your sparkle. I don't believe this is the same man that was the young maestro that was written about 30 years ago. Come on. There's something missing. I don't know what it is on the back of the fragmented relationship you've got with your brother, but the heart's gone. There's got to be some magic somewhere inside that was once there, but I need it back. He can't tell me that I don't know what the hell I'm doing in my kitchen. I've been doing it for 30 years. After being truly disappointed with Luigi's dishes and his attitude at lunch, Chef Ramsay is hoping to see something positive during dinner service. Well, welcome to Luigi's. What can I get for you? I want to have the ravioli, the fettuccine della cotta. I'll be right back. Get your appetizer started, okay? Uh, where's Tony? Give me your number for the plates and golf. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing. Uh... Maybe Saturday morning, yeah. Tony is more like easygoing. You don't take a serious the business job. There's only seven years between you and Luigi. How come you haven't got gray hair and he's got all the gray hair? I try to relax more. He's a stressful guy. You see what happens. But you don't look like a guy that carries pressure. I try not to. That's a major family problem. You have to change. Penne is solo penne with sausages. I'm going to show Chef Rams that my kitchen runs like a machine, like a smooth machine. And the food is just coming out a thousand mile an hour. Not one chef has tasted anything. The food always gets thrown out like that? The, uh, the kitchen really pumps food, yeah. They're, they're fast. Fast and dangerous. While food may be going up to diners with lightning speed. The sauce is kind of watery. What's wrong with that? They said he doesn't like the sauce on the gnocchi. It's also coming back just as quickly. Oh, no. What's wrong with that now? They didn't like the flavor of the meatballs. They're solid. Do you know what I mean? Uh, uh, and dry as And Luigi is not taking the returns very well. The lady uh, wanted the gnocchis to be more like fluffy, like light. Lighter than that, I mean, why do we put feathers on them? We've been making gnocchis for 30 years. That's the way it is. Oh, my God. It's getting worse. I'm falling asleep. I don't have any garlic. I don't have any mushrooms. Luigi back in the kitchen. It's kind of scary because we never know if he's going to snap and yell at us for something. I want to and you don't get the mushrooms, that's all, like I told you. Okay, put them over there. That's it. That's all you gotta do is put the job over there and continue to work. That's okay. Everything okay. No worry about it. No worry about it. Nothing happened. Wow. Cuts will pay extra for that? You've worked before two people and you make it. You can't make it now with three. Just let it go. Marcia. Oh, no. What's wrong with that now? Uh, they said too chewy. Too chewy. Too chewy. Yeah. Nobody takes anything before it goes out? I didn't say this one. One complaint screws up my whole kitchen. It slows everything down. That's the way it is. One. Can I have all the complaints at one time? What's wrong with you? What, what, oh, I, what, what I'm complaints? I'm a chef. You know better than me. If you're the, a chef, yeah, I know, what disrupts I know, your kitchen but you seem to... What disrupts your kitchen most of all? Sure. What does? The arrogance. I complain. The arrogance. I complain, but it's not true. Arrogance of the also, chef. Yes. The and arrogance. Was... You're an arrogant chef just like me. Worse than me. Why are you shouting at me? I'm not shouting at you. You're not shouting That's at me, and then you're talk. a little bit crazy. I'm a little crazy. Because you are shouting. I'm always crazy. Why don't you come here and tell me how it's done, chef? You do it. No, you know better than me. It's just halfway into dinner service. Why don't you come here and tell me how it's done, chef? You do it. No, you know better than me. But after a series of complaints, Luigi has had enough. That's it? No, he's not gone. He's gone. Well, he's walked off the line. He's not gone. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go back and find okay. him. And you got to understand what he's trying to do here, man. He, he's, he, he's not... 
The guy is what he is, and he's an English bastard, is what he is, all right? Yeah. But he's being honest with us. He's not being honest with us. It's yeah, he of... it's not a bunch yeah. of man. This restaurant is, it's both our restaurants, so I want to patch things up. I want to get along with him. He's my brother. I want the best for him. I think you got to go back in there and finish this night off, man. And don't have no, don't back down from the man. I'm not backing down. I'm just taking but don't, a break. Don't, all right, you're just I'm taking, taking a break. break. I'm too hot. All right. Underneath. The best Italian food west of Italy? Yeah. It's still the best food west of Italy. You put your food against mine anytime you want. Really? I have worked with more chefs than you can imagine in the past. The way you performed tonight did not tell me that is the man that's in control of his kitchen. And when I come out and read that, I'm pissed off for you and your customers. It's 2011. Unfortunately, Luigi, no one's told you. That's my opinion of tonight's service. Well, what the f are we supposed to do, man? Yeah, bro, I got saying I need your help. And we, we, we should, we should wake up. You know, we get up. There's something quite remarkable about how hard you work. But I want you working smarter, not harder. When you come down and come back to 2011, you've got me. World famous Italian family restaurant. Me. After discovering how dysfunctional Luigi's really is. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. How are you? Are you good? Chef Ramsay knows the brothers and their wives need a wake up call, and he knows okay. just how to do that. So, when was the last time you had a meeting? Well, a meeting with all the staff. Never. Five years? Never. Never, never. Never. Yeah. never. Oh. Wow. Four of you need one voice put across to all of your staff. Come through to the kitchen. Come with me. I want you to watch something very, very interesting. Just stay here. I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Wow. Ever. Morning. Come in, come in, come in. Good morning. Take a, uh, take a seat, please. OK. I asked you here this morning because I've never seen a restaurant operate the way this one does. And I can't start to fix anything unless I know what the problems are. I'm just going to be honest. When you go back to the, to the kitchen and tell Tony Graciela or, yeah. or you know, whoever, the client is complaining about this, you get a big fight. If the people tell you they don't like it, you can't have Luigi. What do you mean they don't like it? What's wrong with it? Sorry, I know it's your food, your recipe, and that must be kind of tough to like take criticism, but you're gonna have to like bend your will a little bit to what the customer yeah. wants. Somebody needs to taste the food before it comes out. We should be checking the, the quality of the food in the bag two years ago, three years ago. It's been declining in your mind for yes, the last two years. absolutely. I get stressed out when I come to work. Why? It's just the atmosphere, the complete vibe that we get, the disorganization that we have. There's no structure, there's That's no... Right. It comes from the top. There's a top. We're not organized at all. How fragmented is it? It's just like Grace and Luigi versus my mom and Tony. It's very separate. The conflict with these two families, the clients can feel it. And who wants to go to a place where the atmosphere is not the most pleasant? So the conflict with the family is spilling into the dining room. Yes, sir. Do, do you agree? Absolutely. The yelling and screaming. And who's yelling primarily? Who is it? Easily, I think the biggest yeller is Grace. I never know if I'm going to walk in and she's going to be smiling or someone else will frown on her face and start yelling at the She's very unpredictable. Very unpredictable, right. yeah. Can I get out of here? I don't want to hear this. They're, they're saying what they're saying. You have to let other people talk. Somebody lying. She gets like really mad and start telling you things that, first of all, they're embarrassing for our customers, and second of all, they're not professional. 
That's destroying everyone's confidence. I feel this big. This well, is an about lie? all a lie, 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 oh, lie. There's lie, a lot lie. of things that are not said. I know you get offended, but that's okay. He must have had truth. Linda, well, look what she said. Has anyone sat down and spoken to her? I'm just afraid to say anything to her because I don't know if she's going to yell at me. Can she not take criticism? No. She can't take criticism? No, she can't. Nothing. No, no criticism whatsoever. Come on. Listen, listen to what they have to say. I don't want to hear anymore. And if she does change her mind, she'll say that she didn't change it, that she's always thought that. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, just stay here for a second. One moment, right. please. I don't care anymore. I don't, I don't care about the restaurant. I feel like everybody gets to me. They talk nice in front of you, they step into your back. We are gonna work here. I wanna just quit. I don't, I don't think I wanna be here anymore. I feel so bad. What's the matter? Nothing. Talk to me. No, I can't talk. I just want to quit. That's it. I want to leave. I don't want to be no, all in this no, restaurant. No, no, no. No, I get no. people talking bad about me. No. I can take care of them. All the care about is more than the restaurant. I work here. Grace, Grace, I Grace, Grace, Grace. No, Let's, I just, no, no, I can't me. take it anymore. Come I can't take it anymore. Grace, 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 Grace. 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 Listen to me. No. Listen to me. I can't take it anymore. Jeff Ramsey has arranged a way for the owners to hear how the staff feels about their behavior. I just want to quit, that's it. I want to leave, I don't want to be no, all this restaurant. No, no, no. And it's all too much for Grace to handle. I can't take anymore! Come in, come in. I can't take anymore! Grace, 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 Grace. Grace. Listen to me, listen to me. Grace, I'm sorry. Grace, <laughs> they are here for you. No, they yes, came they, to me. No, they talk about me. No, yeah, but that's not no. true. They're liars. No. no, no. Grace, that is the feeling of your team, and they are here for you, and you have to listen to them. We cannot start to fix this restaurant unless we fix each other first. So I'm sorry you feel it's upset, but that's the first time you've seen the way you affect them. But let's just stay calm and let's go and have a meeting together and talk as a family. Okay. Okay? Uh, thank you. Let's go. I think Grace needed to hear all these criticisms. She still is a little bit in denial of the way that she is and how it intimidates other people. I think eventually she will come through, but uh, it's going to be hard for her. You take a seat, just a big deep breath. The owners were listening. The minute I walked in here, I could feel the level of intensity. It was, it, it was depressing. Nobody was being honest with each other. And if we continue to fall along these lines and remain broken, this restaurant's gonna close. And whether you like it or not, you're all tied together. And if we can't work and communicate together as a family, then you shouldn't be in business. Because it's unfair, it's unfair. One thing we are going to do from this day on is work together. Can everyone agree on that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good. Past is past, OK? See, look, that smile. I was kind of already almost to give up. I know the truth hurts, but I know it can help us. I know it will get better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After an emotional breakthrough as a result of the staff meeting, after you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Chef Ramsay has an idea on how to get the family working together again. When you think of Italy, you think of spicy sausage. Yes. Yes. When was the last time we made a spicy sausage? When I was a younger girl, yeah. Uh, you used to make sausage with your parents? Uh, oh, yeah. Always. Oh, really? Yeah. I was 10 years old when I started to make a sausage with my parents. Whereabouts in Calabria? Calabria. I feel like I'm, I'm back a young girl. <laughs> Okay, so tonight we'll make a brand new, delicious Luigi sausage. And I'll start off slowly grinding. How big do you like your sausage? <laughs> I think, I don't know, like a dog, what? They make me hungry. My job was to stuff the sausage. I love it. 
And you know, in Italy, the sausage brings the family together. It's a nice feeling, right? Yeah. yeah. So when was the last time we all spent time in the kitchen together? When was that? Never. Never? All of our body. Wow. This piece that we are trying to get to right now is long overdue. When my father was here, we were a happy, happy place. It's been too many years and too many frustrations going on. I want you two, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, to make the rest of them. Luigi and I are going to go and cook, OK? All right. Nice. Just to see, like, Tony and, uh, and Grace working together, making sausage, give me a little bit of hope. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Making me feel younger. It's very fun. OK. Sausage is in. For the sauce, I'm going to make it like some nice, sort of rich, Ragu. Mm. Fresh. Fresh like you, huh, Chef? Oh, yes. Working next to Chef Ramsey is a great, great, great opportunity. The way that he works and the passion that he has, it makes me, uh, me a light of fire. I say, why can't I do that? Like I used to think in the old days. I would love to be in the kitchen here when you were 22, you know that? Yeah, it would have been fun. Can you imagine? And I started to realize I still have the passion. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. You're yeah, done. At our 21st century. Let's have a little taste. Simple, fresh, Italian fare. Jump in. Oh, man, that's awesome. Me and Grace worked hard on those sausages. I, I, I feel as though it's just a first little baby step, and I can do better. I, I want to do better. Good job, my gosh, unbelievable. They're very good. I get to... Oh, my gosh, too good. Now that Chef Ramsay has seen a glimmer of hope with the family working together, Luigi, we are relaunching this restaurant tomorrow. He has one more surprise in store to make sure Tony and Luigi stay united. I want all of you right now to watch something. Listen. Good night. How is that Luigi Tony? It's a day, you father. It's been five years. Since I've seen my father, I miss him, I love him, I wish I was close to him. I want both of you to remember how far we work to raise your boat and to bring you in this business. Don't forget that beautiful time we have together. Remind me of the past, remind me of where we came from and how we started and why we started this kind of business, you know, why we were in it. It puts it back in perspective. Well, we gotta dig deep and we make this place do what it needs to be able to do. Whatever it takes. We'll start tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll see a new Luigi. I guarantee it. After arranging for an emotional message from Luigi and Tony's father, Chef Ramsay and his team worked through the night to bring a little piece of Italy to Luigi's. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, we start off with a new attitude, a new restaurant, and a new beginning. Are you ready to see the new Luigi's? Yes. yes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, wow. Welcome to the new Luigi's. No, no way. Oh, wow. Oh, my wow. Oh, my God. Everything has been themed as if we're on this amazing trip to Italy. It's appealing, it's vibrant, and it's got that rustic Italian charm. Beautiful. Oh. Gone is the clutter. Gone are those horrible booths. Now we have this wonderful, nice, family-style bonquette seating. Look at the tables. Underneath, we've got the Luigi's stamp of approval. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, Beautiful. my God. Even the napkins have got your stamp on there. Grace, what do you think? Unbelievable. Special. Unbelievable. Wow. I remember now how it was with my dad. 
and how hard we worked to get this restaurant started. Luigi, you're going quiet. I get nervous when you're quiet. No, I'm very, very happy. Yeah, you're... <laughs> you to the fact. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Thank you much. Sir. Listen, I hope you're that you are re-energized. You are the best. Come on, you're and the you, best. Oh, oh, I didn't know you covered. I didn't know you gave them out. I know, you're the best. This is just a dream. I'm dreaming, I'm asleep. It's unbelievable. It's a new Luigi's. I don't need to give another hug. <laughs> You happy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Make it. Yeah. Yeah. After giving the restaurant a much needed makeover, Chef Ramsay has also given the menu a dramatic makeover as well. Welcome to the new menu. It's fresh, it's seasonal, and it's exciting. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, yum. What have we done? We simplified it and made it manageable and delicious. Okay, let's start off with the appetizers. A lovely bowl of seasonal minestrone with a fresh pesto pasta dishes down the bottom, yes? Linguine al clam, delicious. And then finally, baked salmon for a light take on supper. When are we gonna start to eat? Let me finish, please. I'm sorry. Is she always like this? Always. No, no, I'm a kid, I'm a kid, I was a joke. One thing you do deserve, Luigi, yeah? Is a medal for being married to Grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get some knife and forks, jump in, get tasting. Mangiare, mangiare. Oh, wow. It's yeah. really good. Mm. So good. The short rib is awesome. Short ribs are good. It reminds me of some mom used to make. The new menu is amazing. I love it. I think this is a slice of authentic Italy in Anaheim. Lasagna is excellent, really good. We have the restaurant that looks like a modern place. We have a new menu. Everybody is smiling, everybody's happy again. I really feel fantastic. Everything is excellent. I'll be proud to serve this food. Welcome to the new Luigi's. It's relaunch night at Luigi's. We are serving the new menu. So would you like to start off with the appetizers? Calamari. Can I try calamari? And for the first time in a long time, there's positive energy in the restaurant. Luigi cooks. Tony, new expedite. Right, 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 chef. Let's get those first orders in, please. I don't want Luigi panicking. I'm going to get spaghetti and beef balls. Homemade sausage. I want the calamari. I'll get them. Here we go. So, order in. First one. Ordering one order fried calamari, one linguine pescatora. Chef Ramsay has lit up another fire within me that it's going to burn for a long time. Okay, let's go, let's go, guys. Luigi, lovely. Much better like that. Pescatora. Order up. Calamari? Bruschetta. So good. With Luigi producing stunning dishes in the kitchen, diners are thrilled with Chef Ramsay's new menu. That's delicious. And the kitchen is having no trouble keeping up with the demand. Pescatora, pescatora. Let's go, they gotta pick up, pick up. Where's Tony? Tony, Tony. Tony. All right, be right there. Look at this <laughs> food. Food in the city here forever. Let's go. While food is getting to the hot plate in a timely manner, I don't know where any of this food goes. Tony and Luigi have stopped coordinating. And the log jam in the kitchen is not sitting well with diners. Where's Tony? I need my brother to come in and give me some help. I get frustrated and I get mad and I want to kill the guy. Tony, what's going on? Let's go, let's pick up the pace. It's relaunch night, and while the kitchen continues to produce food... Tony, what's going on? Let's pick up the pace. All right, be right there. A lack of communication between the brothers has resulted in food sitting on the pass and not at diners' tables. It's getting cold. Tony, service please, let's go. <laughs> Luigi, you have to keep this together. If you start screaming, I'll kick you out. If I lose my crew again in front of the customers, it's definitely going to cost my business. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I gotta learn to take a deep breath and get it back together. Tony, look at me, look at, look at me now. We're producing unique food and it's dying. He's cooking, you can't stand there like a lemon, you gotta help him a little bit. We can't cook like this and let the food die in the window. I need you expediting, talk to each other. Start pushing the food out, let's go. I'm gonna need a fried calamari on that one. What calamari? 
Hey, Domenica, Domenica, take this to right here, table 41. Now it sounds like a kitchen. We got some voices in there. I, I still need one more pescatory. With Tony now concentrating on expediting. What else we got? Baked salmon and a chicken parm. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Luigi is free to focus on the quality and the consistency of the food. All right, bon appetit, enjoy. Oh, he made it for you. Thank you, thank you. We have a fettuccine Alfredo. And diners are once again enjoying the new Luigi's. That is really good. It is good. Okay, sure, okay. Thank you, Chef. We're finally leaving the negativity and the fighting behind us. Good things will come with a good attitude. This first step is great. So the last song take on. Yes, sir. Okay. Tonight we took a baby step forward in the right direction. Slow start, but the customers were happy. And yes, we were a little bit like headless chickens, but you showed you had passion. Yes? yes. yes. Passion is back in Luigi's. Yeah. <laughs> two brothers, step forward. Look at you two. Honestly, that's exactly what I want to see. You've made the critical first step, but stay on it. Stay on that path. Having Chef bring us together is something special. The brothers need to be bonded. I think my father would be very proud. Love is back and Luigi's. Stay together. You make him look good, and you make him look good. Thank you very much, Chef Ramsey. You're the prince in white shining armor. You walked into our place, and you gave us hope and courage again. Let's go ahead to the chef. Thank you, Chef. No screaming. No screaming, okay? Stay on it. Wow, I have never, in all the years of Kitchen Nightmares, seen a more explosive family situation than here at Luigi's. They were so busy fighting each other, the reputation of the restaurant went completely downhill. This week, we moved them forward 30 years. But unless this family stays united, Luigi's has no chance, and I mean no chance, of success. In the weeks that followed, Luigi's received a rave review from the OC Weekly. The revamped dining room was slammed. All sorts of delights passed us by. Yeah, this is fantastic. And the restaurant is regaining the reputation it once held in the community. That smells really good. Here, yeah, you got, you got work in you. <laughs> wow, that's Luigi. And unbelievably, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. The family is working together in harmony. Beautiful sauce is beautiful. Chef Ramsey has brought the family together again, and my father in Italy is going to be proud of us. Us. We put all our differences aside, and I think we're going to build a new bright future for all of us. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon visits Southern California's Orange County to help an embattled Italian restaurant called Luigi's. I want the f gonna answer back! With two brothers who can't stand to be around each other. Get the f out of here! And a wife no one can stand to be around. No! I don't stand it! The fighting at Luigi's is constant. Okay, sex, go! And even the customers aren't spared. It's the most dysfunctional family restaurant Chef Ramsay has ever encountered. Say that to Can he save this family from ruining the restaurant? I feel so bad. Or is the situation impossible to fix? We are losing the business. Because of him! Because of him! You won't believe what happens on the most intense kitchen nightmares ever. <laughs> what is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not even done. Yes, you are. I'm Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. 
Anaheim, California, the most populated city in Southern California's famed Orange County, and home to a family-run restaurant named Luigi's D'Italia. It was opened in 1981 by a promising young chef with a dream, Luigi Catazzone. My dream was to always own a restaurant, and my dream did come true. When my father took a loan on his house, and we uh, opened this small restaurant. And with the aid of his father, Dominic, Luigi was able to make the restaurant successful for many years. Luigi's is definitely an Anaheim staple. It was our favorite place to go. Whenever I used to come here as a kid, it was just a really, really great atmosphere. In 1999, Dominic retired to Italy and brought in his other son, Tony, to help Luigi run the restaurant. Tony and Luigi have totally different ways of running the restaurant. There's like two different sets of standards. Tony, we got a half a calamari fried mozzarella ready. Tony is a little bit lazy, taking shortcuts. Tony. Whenever Luigi's here, Luigi wants to be more hands-on. There's more yelling and screaming. You're interfering with my cooking. Get the out of here. I don't agree with the way he runs it and the way he does it. We start pointing fingers at each other and we fight. There's a thing called professionalism, man, and that's not professional. You can't lose it like that. We work hard. Tony sit in his ass all the time. And that, that, I get pissed off a lot of times because Tony got to take a more serious the job. You kill him. I got to beside the yell and say, you know what? It's not, it's not fair. You brother to kill you. Without you brother, you be this way. You be homeless. Yo, you do this to me. I feel like I'm being pushed to the limit. Luigi's yelling, Grace is yelling. I'm trying to keep my sanity here. There's too much yelling going on. I, I, I got a headache. There is a lot of drama that goes on here. That's a Everything will go. Everything will go. The arguments and the stress of the restaurant, it does spill over to the dining room a lot. Answer this question! Answer. Diners don't want to go to, to this restaurant or any restaurant to get yelled at. Okay, sex, go! Oh, I'm gonna go back to you. I've been here for years. What did you come in for? A plane or what? Luigi, Tony, Grace, they just can't seem to work together. But still, I can't go yelling at people like that. It's wrong. Oh, man. baloney. They complain about everything on the dish. They're neighbors. They come over here. You gotta treat them like crap. They don't know nothing about food. It's tearing the family apart. The way the restaurant is going, it's gonna go broke in a month. We're in debt total a million and a half dollars. I don't know if we're gonna make it. We gotta see what we gotta do. It's too much stress. If I had to close the doors, I would feel like I failed my father and everything that we worked for together. I would lose everything that I've worked for all my life. I don't know if tomorrow I'm gonna make it. And I don't know if I'm gonna pay my bills. The world's gone viral today, and a restaurant's reputation can live or die in seconds on the internet. So I'm here in Anaheim visiting Luigi's restaurant, and I'm going to check out their website. Uh, wow, uh, this one looks good. Um, a young, very talented, 22-year-old chef. Oh, look at that. Clearly a youthful maestro. Well, that's encouraging. I can't wait to see what's on the inside. Um, great start. 22. Wow. Hi. Morning. Hey, how are you? Hi, welcome to Luigi's. Good Joe. to see you. Joe, good to see you, buddy. Gordon. Hi, nice meeting you. And your position is? I'm a waiter. Excellent. And you've got a bit of a uh, hot chef in there. Yes, definitely. Uh, could you go and get in, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Wow, look at this place. Luigi's d'Italia. Hmm. Oh, hello, Chef Ramsey. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Gordon, good to see you. Um, hold on a minute. You're not 22. I'm 51. You're 51? I'm reading the latest report on your website, a youthful maestro, 22 years of age in the kitchen. Do you have a son in there? No, it must be a mistake. Yeah, this was written in 1981. 1981? No, I have recent reviews too. What, like 1984? No, 1991. Uh, 1991? Anyway, yeah. if the food was that good back in 1981, how is it today? I think it's better now. That's great news. Yeah. I have a following for 30 years, and what I do, I am the best there is. But there's some things that can be changed. A youthful 22-year-old. I like the website. Uh, who else is running the restaurants? My brother, uh, Antonio. Wow, Tony. that's encouraging. 
very encouraging in terms of a proper family run restaurant. I have my wife, Tony, wow. and uh, okay, great. My, my children. Let's have a little catch up with the family, shall we? Okay. Yeah, are they all here? Yeah, they're all Love here. Love to meet they're them. Bring them out. Someplace. This is my lovely wife, Grace. Hi, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Where are you from? Italy. This is your wife? Uh, yes. Is, wow, you did well. And this is? Dominica, the daughter. daughter. Okay, wonderful. And this is? My I'm Linda. -law, my brother's wife. That's my husband, Antonio. Antonio. How are you? No, very good, Dan. Uh, Pleasure Antonio, to meet you. Tony, what would you like to be called? No, I go by Tony. Tony, okay, great. Uh, let's sit down and let's have a catch up, shall we? I'm glad that Chef Ramsey is here to help us because uh, this is a family restaurant and we shouldn't be a split family restaurant. First of all, I'm here to help. And I can't help unless I know what's with wrong. What's wrong with the restaurant? We had a, a phenomenal leader. And the leader was my father. He was in the front. Him and I were always on the same page. And where's your father now? Where is he? He's in Italy, retired. So no one's actually ever stepped into your father's shoes? Well, I have. But I think what has happened is no one has any uh, idea what is needed in this restaurant. We're in a position to lose everything. So who runs it now? I'm the, I'm the guy in charge right now. Well, no. You're on the way we run it is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, I run the place. And then on uh, Thursday nights through Sunday nights, uh, they run the place. Wow, it's crazy. How does a family restaurant not run as a family? They don't get along. Because you don't belong in this restaurant. It's a trauma. Yeah. When you have laziness, it's an infection. What happens is when Tony is here and Linda is here, they have no understanding that number one is the customer. No sitting around, no looking at the TV. Watching TV when customers come, is that true? I don't, I don't think it's true. Tony, he don't care about the customer. He was sitting and played the computer. I care about this restaurant. No, I don't think. He had to the computer here. He talk with the computer, come on. Complaints are that people feel neglected. Yeah, but there's also complaints like, I don't want to come there when she's there. Customers don't want to come when you're working. What's all that about? I don't know. It's I mean, a... I'm just asking her. Listen, I'm... I... She's got people that she kisses ass to and they love her. She's got other people that she gets bl blunt in her face and hate her. Is it right to just basically go up to the customer and just say, I... you, get the out of here? No! I don't say that! I don't say you! Don't tell me this that's what he said. No, I didn't say This is what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did right. What did you do? I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I mean, I, I wasn't here. Did she say you? Did she not say you? I thought she did. I didn't hear you, no. Oh, yeah, she did. What, what did, did you hear? I didn't say that. I said that to you. You no, forget. No, she got it. Why into... did you let it forget for? You gotta be honest. I'm being you honest. You want this guy to help you or not? I'm trying to get him to help. Well, then say the way it is. I am. No, you're not. You're lying. I'm not lying. You guys yeah, are lying. I think she's you. You think so? She did. Okay, I she did say you. Say you. you. That's all. We are losing the business. You understand? No, you see, this is why we don't get along. Within minutes of meeting the family. Chef Ramsay got a quick sample of one of the restaurant's biggest problems. We are losing the business. You must have hit! You must have hit! No, see, this is why we don't get along. Follow me. Thank you. You're welcome. Now he's hoping that the food of Luigi's is as good as Luigi says it is. Uh, wow. I'm gonna have a good look at the menu. The menu's huge, right? The menu is huge. The last I counted, there was 126 things on there. <sighs> okay, great. Right, let's start off with... Oh, fried ravioli. Love them. Okay. Do you know what? What about the linguine escatori? Okay. What is the catch of the day? That's uh, mahi-mahi. Let's do that. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mmm. Decor's hideous. It's stuck in a time warp. Takes me back to 1981. Okay, I have a fried ravioli for Chef Ramsey. Fried ravioli for the chef. My food is the best food that's possibly made. But the problem with the restaurant is that we're fighting so much. Fried ravioli. Okay. And fried ravioli. What's inside the ravioli, please? Uh, it's a five cheese stuffed ravioli. And the five cheeses are? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, wow. It's a pre-made ravioli. So they're not homemade? They're, those are not homemade. If we don't even make them here, it'd be nice to know what's inside them. 
I'll find out right now for you. Thank you. How's it going? I need to find out what cheeses are in the ravioli. What cheeses are in the ravioli? Yeah. yeah. What kind of cheese is in the bread and ravioli? Read the box. It's a ricotta cheese, Joe. Yeah. It's a ricotta cheese. Oh my god. Ah, horrible. It's something deep, fried, frozen. It doesn't even taste like cheese. No. You got a whole uh, whey, and you got American grana. And uh, a skim cheese. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You got it? Thank you, yes. Yeah, not good. Chef Ramsey, I checked on the cheeses for you. Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh, also, uh, American guarana. Something called a uh, cheese whey and culture blend. Where the f is that from in Italy? I don't. I have no idea where that's from. Ooh. And a uh, skimmed cheese. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. What does that mean? It's fat-free cheese dipped in fat. Dipped in fat, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. Oh. Some pans. Yeah, it looks good. Hey, uh, Joe. My, my. Here, I'll yeah. bring it out, tell him. Oh, damn. Oh, chef, this is the fish special. It's the mahi mahi. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm, it's mush. Yeah. Bland, greasy, no seasoning. Fish is dreadful. Um, this is a special fish. Yes, that is special fish. Mm -hmm. No taste for me. It tastes like mush. Almost like it's sort of old. 